Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you to Microids for the game key. And we're going to be taking a look at Agatha Christie murder on the Orient Express. Oh, nice shoes. The development you predicted in the Kastner case happened unexpectedly. Please come back immediately. How can it be unexpected if I have predicted it? Well, my friend, is that you? Okay, now we're going to learn how to move. Whoa. And then A to interact. Very simple controls. Is it truly you, my friend? Book, it is indeed me. What brings you so far from home? A little affair in Syria. An affair of the heart? No, no. A modest affair of recovering stolen artifacts. But now I am summoned home to England and must leave immediately. This evening? You travel on the Orient Express, I hope. I have made no arrangements yet, as I just learned that an emergency has arisen, and I must return to England immediately. Very well. It will be my pleasure to secure you a sleeper on the Orient Express. If the director of the line insists, I accept with pleasure. And we'll dine together, for I too depart this afternoon. We'll have plenty of time to catch up. I'll have the hotel transfer our luggage. Excuse me, sir. You are the director of the line? The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if she may keep her minor in her compartment on the train. Uh, good morning, Princess. It is an honor to welcome you aboard. There is absolutely no problem for your pet. You will ask about his food? Oh, yes. The Princess Dragomirov would like to know if there is food for minors on board. Insects? Uh, small amphibians? Baby rodents? Baby... Rodents? Gross. Of course, Princess. Don't worry. Your bird will be fed as you demand. Is it me or does he give off Nico vibes from Grand Theft Auto 4? <laughs> Listen to me. Call the police. My train ticket has been stolen. Stolen? Oh dear. Oh dear. You travel by the Orient Express, Monsieur? Arbuthnot, Captain Archibald Arbuthnot, formerly British Army, now retired. And yes, I'm taking the Orient Express to Paris. But what business is that of yours? My name is Book. I am the director of the line at your service. And perhaps this gentleman could assist you. He is Hercule Poirot. I... oh. Uh, but I must make that train. <laughs> A train ticket. Yesterday, I recovered artifacts worth several millions. Please, my friend. It's not just any ticket. It's an Orient Express ticket. It's an Orient well, Express I ticket. Investigate. Thank you, Poirot. I will arrange a car to Sirkechi station for us. Okay, now we're controlling again here. Stolen ticket. Talk to the captain. Press Y. The player's current objective is represented by the icon. Open the mine map for more details. Alright, let's go into the mine palace. Oh, this is cool. Alright, I suppose I should offer my assistance. Even if the task is beneath me, the little gray cells must be exercised. I will offer my help. Well, how noble of him. Talk to him here. How do you know your ticket has been stolen, monsieur? I put it on a table in my room. I came down here to breakfast, and when I got back, my ticket was gone, and other things were on the floor, as if they'd been tossed about. Hello, monsieur. I suggest we begin in your room. Will you lead the way? All right, we have a new node. How to find the ticket. Press Y. And question mark this time. Uh, what can be done to find the captain's ticket? Connect elements on the left with those on the right. Let's 
So we are going to search. Interrogate the neighbors. Uh, inspect the door for any sort of damage or entry, right? And then search the bed. I'm right again. That happens to me a lot. Oh, he has no ego, does he? All right, we're going in the elevator. What floor is he on? Did he tell us? I don't think he did. Oh, brown hair, blue earring. Turtleneck, I think. Floor, Captain Arbuthnot. Fourth floor. Oh, one mystery solved. Oh, there we go. Fourth floor. Yeah, it's a very charming game. I like the graphical cartoon novel look to it. I suppose I can exercise my powers of observation while we wait. All right, so he said that he was military and he's retired, so 45. My final guess, British 45, retired captain. That's the right answer. Of course, duh. All right, character analysis or special workshops. Once completed, the analyzed character will appear on the characters tab in the pause menu. Press the pause button to open the pause menu and navigate to the characters tab. Okay, so it kind of gives you a little like cliff notes kind of things, bullet points of uh, pertinent information. Oh, this fancy couple. Oh, she's got like emerald earrings, blonde hair, blue dress. He's got a beard. My room's along here, 411. In a hotel of this quality, a thief. Come on, come on, don't dawdle. Literally right behind you. Don't dawdle me. So, 410. Here we are. You have locked the door, monsieur? Naturally. This is a foreign country. You have the key card? Of course. We will enter. The lock has not been tampered with. Okay, so that's a check on that. So at least we know there wasn't a forced entry. Uh, go here. That looks like the bathroom. Anything we click on? Oh, there's a mustache in the sink. I hate when I leave mine behind. Yeah, you always need a spare just in case. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Water with traces of soap. The water is scented. Scented water. So they were cleaning? Unless she had like perfume on? Oh, uh, so this is a shower. Weird that they're separate, but maybe other countries do it like this. A uh, wine bottle? Perfume? Perfume bottle. Perfume bottle. Empty. Suggestive. Okay. Maybe that's what the water is. Alright, so it kind of grays out on areas that we've been in. An earring. Hello. This earring. It is not the first time I've seen it, but where? I think the first chick we passed had an earring like this. Uh, bed. The bed is skillfully made. 
Anything on TV? The wallet is somewhat worn. It contains just over $200 and the usual cards. Uh, what's over here? What we got down here? Hmm, a fact sheet from a tour of Saint Sophia. Hmm, a fact sheet from a tour of Saint Sophia. Okay, so it's just a fact sheet, like a travel deal. There's nothing on the back side either. Uh, there's a note. A stamped reservation for the Bosphorus Ferry. Again, nothing on the back. Uh, what's this? No oh, metal. A conspicuous gallantry cross for meritorious service in Iraq. Yet he only retired as a captain. Oh, we're looking at the desk now. Istanbul. The brochure for this fascinating city. Anything on the back? Oh, uh, actually there is. Highly detailed. Too bad we can't open it. Uh, what's bottom drawer? Anything? Nothing. Bottom drawer. I need a mustache a question. Come to Poirot, my exquisitely sculpted friend. This drawer is busy. Choco break, but nothing we could click on though. Nothing pertaining to the mystery. Uh, first bank. So we have a bank statement here. Travel expenses, but how did these papers end up on the floor? All right, we have an open window. It's impossible for a thief to have exited through the window. Okay, so we have a question mark. So now we got to solve this one. Uh, no, they're not spider man They're not going to climb to the window. No, there wasn't any signs of forced entry. Using a key card. Okay. My little gray cells did not let me down. I don't see much gray. <laughs> All right, what do we do? Don't slip and fall. Do we talk to you? Breakfast. How long were you at breakfast, Captain? A half an hour or so. Just a roll and some coffee. Uh, what does this want us to do? Oh, here we go. Interior get the neighbors. All right, so two of them. Got to interrogate two neighbors. Let's go. Go away, please. A brief word, sir. I will give you two brief words. Go away. Monsieur. I've been traveling all night from New York. Must I call the management? Pardon, monsieur. I do not believe we have awakened a thief. Hmm. Okay, nothing here. Maybe it's the other side. So the left trigger looks like it makes him power walk a little bit. Nothing there. Here we go. Please clean up my room. It's apparently empty. I will leave it for the moment. Uh, now we talk to him. Wrong button. 
Earring. Why was there an earring in your room? An earring? A previous guest, I suspect. I don't wear them. I feel like he's lying. Did you leave the window open? No. That must be how the thief escaped. I think Unless no. Spider-Man, maybe. Unless the thief had wings. Or webs. <laughs> Did you leave the window? That I think not. The bed is very neatly made, but the corners are not military style. The price we paid for this hotel? I'm not going to make my own bloody bed. Interesting pronoun, that. We. we. Hmm. Okay. So now we have another one to solve. Oh, so this is a different one. So now we kind of have to put this in the order. Or we pair them, pair them together. So the bed. Actually, no, we're going to do the window and the paper. Okay. Now the earring and the bed. Think, Poirot. No. That is not a good answer. Uh, the door in the earring. Okay, so it's a woman that she came through the door. Conclude. The wind probably blew the papers on the floor as it came in through the window. Moreover, the door is closed. And I found an earring on the bedside table. The captain invited a woman into his room. Maybe she is our culprit. That was easy. Okay. So who is who is the woman? What is this woman? Um, I'm thinking it's this one. This is the first one. I'm right again. That happens to me a lot. I think it was like a bluish color. Blanchik had the emerald green earrings. All right, so I think we're good to back out of here. Now, what do we do, brother? Uh, do we question? Yes, yeah, so we question the captain. Captain Earring Arthur, confrontation. I have examined your room. Much was revealed. Possibly more than you expected. Rest assured, we will soon find your ticket. It's about bloody time. I have a train to catch. As do I. You are traveling on the Orient Express. We? Oui. If you will be good enough to answer a few questions, we may both make our train. Ask away. Please give me an account of your movements yesterday. I spent most of my day in Istanbul, sightseeing. I returned to the hotel as the sun was setting. The desk clerk can confirm I was alone when I picked up my key. I spent the night alone. I had no visitors in my room. I call Bull. So I spent most of my day in Istanbul, sightseeing, returned to the hotel, sun was setting. Firm, I was okay. I spent the night alone. Have you told me the entire truth, Captain Arbuthnot? He might have had... I want you to find my he might have been alone at night, but... Perhaps someone was there before. No one else but you has entered this room, Captain. Then how did these papers come to end up on the floor? I can't explain how the bloody things ended up on the bloody floor. That's why you're here. Hercule Poirot was wondering why he was here. Thank you so much for explaining that to me. Can so you explain earring? the earring I found on the bedside table? An earring? Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, forgive me, Mr. Poirot. I had some business correspondence that wanted answering. The hotel provides help for business travelers. They sent up a secretary. I dictated a letter and she mailed it for me. I hadn't noticed that she had- I'm sure she dictated. When did you invite <laughs> this uh, 
Secretary, this woman may be the thief we are looking for. That was yesterday evening. My ticket was still there when I went down to breakfast. She can't have taken it. Hmm, I see. Never mind. It is easily checked. And uh, there was no other person in your room? No, I swear there wasn't. Ah, uh, well, never mind. If it is not her, there is only one option left. Fine. Please finish your job quickly. I'll be downstairs in the lobby. Uh, I have a feeling we're done here. We're probably going to be following Nico. I do like the ambient noise. Passing our room, they get louder. Okay, so ask the desk clerk, I guess, of his whereabouts and whereabout he was. I'm really digging this so far. I really like the modern ways these point and click games really kind of build the whole story around. A hotel business card. The Hotel Tocatlia is a perfect prelude for my journey. Really nothing of use, but at least as of right now. Pardon, Monsieur. May I inquire when the staff begins cleaning the rooms? Every morning at breakfast time, sir. After making certain there are no guests in the room, of course. May I speak with the chambermaid who cleaned room 411 this morning? I hope you don't think that one of our staff stole the ticket. No, 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 no. Do not distress yourself. We seek only information. I will summon her at once. Oh, I'd ask her to bring her laundry cart. Oh, she looks scared. <laughs> He's like, I'm busted. Uh, is there anything in the cart? Waho is not going to touch the dirty laundry. <laughs> I don't blame you. Not your job. Room 411. Do not be frightened, mademoiselle. Did you clean room 411 this morning? Room 411? Yes, that is one of mine. Did you see a ticket on the desk when you entered the room? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't notice a ticket. There was a wallet, but of course I did not touch it. Did you open the window? Yes, the we ticket? always air the rooms. Oh, but the window? Close the window. While I was making the bed, the person from next door was pounding on the wall. I wondered if he needed assistance. I tossed the dirty sheets in my cart, quickly finished mopping, and went to see. Oh, mopping. It was nothing. But That's why the puddle was there? I left the window open. I'm so sorry. A window left open, papers scattered on the floor. The chambermaid cleaning the room. I believe I can now visualize what happened. So I guess we're visualizing this. Uh, why? Reconstruction of the scene. Of the crime scene. Oh, this is cool. Um. So. That there that there that there uh we're probably gonna have to fix this a couple times <laughs> i don't think i nailed it think, wow, no that is not a good answer hmm so swap these I must admit, nope. I'm not right this time. Uh, what if we change these? Hmm. No, 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 not good. Thinking we we're right the first time with the order here. Uh, let's move this there. 
And that there. There we go. That was easy. Not really. <laughs> easy for him. Now we talk to Nico. Mademoiselle, would you be so kind as to look in the sheets from room 411? Gasp. The golden ticket. So the missing train ticket completes its strange journey. An open window, a laundry cart, and an annoying neighbor. But chance is the only guilty party in this dark mystery. Mr. Poirot, I apologize. I believe my concern got the better of me, and I forgot myself. Thank you. It was a case of great magnitude. I'm glad I was up to the challenge. And that, I think, is that. Oh, there's our buddy. Oh, leaving the hotel. I have my ticket and papers. If you give me yours, I'll hang on to mine. But as your secretary, as my secretary, you see to the bags, Hector. Yes. Yes, sir. That man, I have a curious impression of him. As if I were observing a wild animal, uncaged. All right, guys. Thank you to Microids for the game key. And this was Agatha Christie, Murder on the Orient Express. We must leave for the station. Our bags are in the taxi. Did you find the ticket? It was a case most difficult, but somehow Hercule Poirot managed. I knew you could do it. Now we can sit back and enjoy a relaxing train ride. And we'll catch you in the next one.